making me part of this team. There's a huge number of talented people as I look around this garage, and I cannot wait to see what we can all accomplish together, including you. Our journey to the Constructors' Championship starts right here. Hello everybody, it is Cryptic Center here, and I am here back again with another episode of my my team career mode obviously this is the post stream commentary and if you wanted to catch the streams uh, i will link my um my channel down below for twitch if you want to go follow over and catch the streams you can um but this here is obviously just me commentating over kind of going through what my thoughts are of the of the stream just you know post post race post stream all that sort of stuff and um basically Ooh. what i was thinking in that moment in time um now obviously first first lap out in the new car never gonna be the greatest i was trying to get used to it um went straight oh, into the race deep. quality um the race watch. program um and straight away wasn't really wasn't really feeling the car okay. as best as what i would normally i uh, started out my career modes with already a second off uh, within this first lap uh, already instantly just it wasn't a good lap at all um really really struggled for grip really struggled to kind of get used to the car as well as you can probably see through the sections we've already two seconds down going into the second sector this is 80 percent ai by the way um so i'm in no means a professional uh, at this i am just doing this for fun but it really didn't um really didn't stem uh to my gameplay um i did have a, a fault throughout this as well um for some reason my wheel kept deactivating my drs every time i tried to activate it so which is also um taking my mind off things off off the focus um definitely not <laughs> definitely not a good time at all um you can definitely see the fact that i am a novice at this haven't been playing the game in a while just judging by my lines judging by the way I'm placing the car and judging the way um, if you could look at the telemetry for the um, uh, for the braking and the accelerating you can definitely see the um, the lack of confidence in the car um, you can see come around this first lap here two seconds down um, off the actual lead time so couldn't um, couldn't as you saw just there uh, lap one two and three four couldn't get a good lap in at all this is my last decent yeah, lap uh, after getting used to the car itself uh, a second up from the target time uh, going into the final sector here i got either uh, hogelberg and i was out of a step behind me as well so i was um even though it was only practice i was feeling a bit of pressure into it as well so didn't like it didn't like that moment at all um but yeah coming down uh coming down this last straight here uh, we are still about nine tenths nearly a second up on the target time but obviously it's not going to be enough for us to uh, complete this practice program but thought i would just include it anyways just to show that um just show the progression basically of how, of how far on we did but still didn't give us the pace that we needed going on to the tire program now just towards the end gonna uh, rush them through all the programs to try and get through them um weirdly tire wear was fantastic like i was um, uh, the tire wear on the car was brilliant you see purple time on there um not too sure what happened and um go straight into the track acclimatization as well um going off to the back straight now you'll see this uh, i did do some restarts in the <laughs> some flashbacks in the stream you'll see that if you follow through um but you can see verstappen what is going on absolute rude will run but uh flashback basically to complete my run here um finish off with one green just in the final corner because oh, of the understeer green, come on over uh, pretty much got that done all in one which was decent um nice. very happy with that uh going into uh, an, a retry of the race strategy program you can see it's a, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit better i'm doing a little bit better we're already uh um well we were six tenths up and now we're four tenths up uh, on the target time five tenths up six tenths up and um this corner, turn 10, was always the one corner that was my weak point. I was never the best uh, at that corner. really did catch me out, um, but still in the green after that. Uh, nine tenths up, just going into the final sector now. Um, and as we come through to end the, uh, the program, the race strategy program, um, 
we got it. We got green uh, on the first two laps, and we went through this and we took purple um, just at the end, which I was very happy about. So going straight into, well, uh, going to the quick practice, I was going into here just to kind of get rid of the um, the ones that I didn't do to try and get the maximum amount of discounts that I had here. So um, you'll see me just go through this as well. Didn't understand, went through onto this. I, I, I somehow failed on... 70 percent um on 70 percent success on on two occasions once on the engine or both on the engine part of the series not too sure what that was um but you know we got there in the end uh completed all the practice programs and we went straight into qualifying um quality itself i did mess around with the setup a little bit before i went into to do my quality runs um, and I think I lowered the tire pressures down and um, upped my uh, upped my air on the front to try and assist you know to assist my braking and stuff because I wasn't having the best of times um, going through just try to try to keep with the baseline setups um, didn't really uh, do too much uh, you know adjusting because I don't really have too clear of setups anyways. Um, but yeah, going into the middle part of the lap as well, we were we were up on the green as well. Um, and obviously you can he probably hear me in the background. It's just chatting away to myself on the stream um, as I'm going through. See that turn that turn ten corner. It's it it's never the best. I'm never the best at it. Um, going down the back straight, we're still on the green here. And I'm just going into sector three. Um, missed that apex there just casually, you know, as you do, and. Come around uh, towards the time. final section of this of the uh, of the lap. Uh, still green section. It was this time wide. very wide and very understeery into that corner there. Wasn't too happy with that, but you know, um, try to recover as best we could. This is obviously the first lap with uh, kind of coldish tires. Had quite a bit of fueling, so I wanted to do uh, three laps on the trot. Um, but you see this lap here, uh, it was 1 minute 34.0 still, it wasn't good enough as well to get us out of, uh, out of Q1, so did another lap here, and you can see I have the delta time, uh, 1.3 seconds up from the previous time, definitely found a lot of time here, uh, as we cross the line, we were only 1.2 seconds up from our previous time, 132.9, and that got us into, uh, into Q2, so it did, and... This is obviously the only one that I did in Q2 because I didn't think I deserved to be in Q2. Um, again, green up. I think we were slower than the previous time uh, on this one. I think this was the, yeah, this was the first lap that I did. Um, very much slower, 134.2. So I was even slower than the first time that I pasted in the Q1. And again, second second run. 1.5 seconds of coming into the so final part of the final part of the circuit. Um, I don't know where I was finding this time. I was just getting more comfortable with the car during qualifying, um, which you'll see is very different in the race. 1.7, 1.6 seconds up. Uh, as we cross the line, we ended up being 1.4 seconds up from the time. Uh, we were faster than the last time, 132.8, and we kind of left it at that. Oh, I right had to then. run off uh, right. to an emergency uh, to pick up a sister, so I did. So we just kind of jumped straight back into the race, and there was a lengthy, um, lengthy intermission yeah. with, <laughs> with the um, with the stream. But that's the beauty of YouTube. You could just skip all that part. But yes, um, we went straight into the race there. I think we qualified in 13th, if I remember correctly, um, as we go into the race you'll probably see it in the grid as well i was very happy with it to be fair um very very happy with it and you see it was difficult uh, in qualifying my one lap pace was fantastic uh we haven't really done too much race pace and again uh, jumping back into the game after quite a while uh being out of the game was um wasn't the best idea uh you'll see during this race as well didn't end up going our way um You'll probably see that during the title as well. I forgot to go into photo mode multiple times to try and get a thumbnail for this, so it's just going to be a boring ass thumbnail. But yes, as we went through the grid, um, the grid was pretty much standard. It kind of sense though in P1, uh, next to Verstappen, that was, that was very surprising. So it was. Um, I think uh, it was uh, Leclerc P3, Perez P4, no, it was Hamilton P4, sorry. Uh, Perez P5, Alonso P6. Uh, P7 was Russell, Lando 8th, 
uh, PS3 9th, 10th was Albon, I was very impressed by that. Uh, two Alpines were in front of us, and yeah, there we go, we were in 13th, right next to Bottas. Uh, Ricardo back in um, for a while, um, after being sidelined by Nick DeVries, and now Nick DeVries has been sidelined by Ricardo, <laughs> which is good. Liam Lawson, our teammate, last place, not really expecting much, um, not expecting much of this car either. Um, Really not happy with it. Going into the formation map as well. Now this bit, I was a bit, I was annoyed at, very annoyed at. You'll hear that um, probably in the background. I'm trying to warm up my tires, warming up, going through uh, down towards the turn ten, very close. At what I thought, I didn't touch him. I thought I hadn't actually grazed him, but apparently the game thought I did. So you know what? Thanks, Go Masters. Um, going into the race, into the start uh, straight away, uh, we had to restart initially, but we uh, got that a good start right. here. Um, start. Trying to get in front of the Alpines, got sandwiched in between them, so had to had to break quite a bit. Locked up uh, into the first turn, you could see trying to get onto the car. The rear of the car was stepping out constantly. Um, and that was pretty oh, much the cold. measure of our entire race. Um, we did not have a good race whatsoever. The rear of the car kept stepping out. You can see uh, there, there again. Um, this is not fun. Really didn't feel comfortable with it. Okay. I didn't actually calibrate my pedals or anything like that decently. So um, I think that's going to be something I'm going to have to look into for the next race at Jeddah. Um, so otherwise we're going to definitely have a lot more moments and Jeddah is a track. Jeddah is a track here. with uh, walls, so um, definitely don't want to be running Whoa. the race like that. See, there you go, oh, uh, into turn 10, horrible. not being able to hold the rear of the car. We had good right, pace well. at the end of it, um, so good. we did. Now, again, this is 80% AI. Um, I'm, I wasn't going to increase it any further because, again, I wasn't consistent. Um, so I thought this was a good measure of the AI that oh, I was running. We were doing well on the first lap. Keeping Ocon behind, keeping uh, in pace of Piastri as well. Um, it was really, right, see, I wasn't it. happy with the car, but I was it was decent pace. I was happy with the pace that I was running, but uh, the car, it's the car I was driving. It was just, it wasn't fun to drive whatsoever. It wasn't fun to drive, and Let's I go. think that can be shown throughout the race as well. On to lap two, uh, Sonoda had DNF'd from the race, from the first race of the season. Alpha Tauri already has a car out of the race. You can see it went purple and it did um, purple final sector as well. Um, and going into lap three, you can see Piastri and Albon were both uh, battling, but then I spun off the first corner um, very stupidly, hit the curb too much, uh, struggled to try and get back onto it, then cut back to, again, same lap, another spin. Kind of a measure okay. of how the race has been going. This was a fifty percent race as well, so obviously the tire, uh, the tire life was uh, heightened, and you can see we started to struggle with the tires. After only three laps in, I was really, really unhappy with the car. Um, I don't think the mediums were working well. They were wearing out really, really quickly. The tire wear was horrible. You can see going into the turn one really struggling to hold the car there. into it and then again no. just into another oh. spin uh, and you could see as well i wasn't even on the par when i when the car spun around so it Safe just spun right and now. then going into Gasly. the turn 10 Gasly again already out of the session. decent all right decent all right this time um and then you could see there pierre gasly was also out of the session as well um, a which was a bit ironic, the fact that we were actually battling, <laughs> battling Gasly to try and keep behind, and he DNF on the race, so, uh, sucks to be him, <laughs> but, uh, you'll see in a minute that this race just went from, it went from bad to worse, so it did, it wasn't, it wasn't fun, um, again. and as we were coming down here, uh, again, I think at this point, I think this is where we had another spin. No, we didn't. We were all right on this one. Um, very on the edge. Oh, but there we go. Uh, here comes These the spin. Gone, the two laps gone. afterwards. And at that point, I kind of decided I, I need the box. Gone. I need to put the softs on. I need to try and gain some time. Take gain some time back. But lose, um, really. even on the softs, like I thought if the mediums were wearing this quickly, oh, why dear. did I think the softs were going to be any better? They were going to give me by two laps of... I'm going to give me about 
two laps of of use, um, but you know, may as well see how much time we can gain. We lost a lot of time in the pit stop, so we did. Uh, you can probably see we got fastest lap as well on those softs. Um, try and steal from the other teams as well. But you can see even on the softs, the car was not. It was not fun. I've got no rear drive. It had no rear drive force on this car, um, and I wasn't able to put any any no. upgrades on before oh, Barman as well. Um, okay. You can see spanning okay. in because this car it stopped. It wasn't fun, and I think also an element of it was my pedals and my driving as well, which I'll have to rectify for round two. Very upsetting, uh, very upsetting race, but you know what? It's so okay. We tried to we tried to uh, track on as well, but it, it, it uh, go turn ten, the rear end just locked up and sent me into spin. Not a happy race whatsoever. Was really not happy with how the car felt. Um, yeah, not having a good race. And <laughs> it, it, pretty much, this was the race. And I was very upset uh, that this was the start of the season. Um, I was hoping the I season would be better. Um, we're cutting into the final lap here careers. before everything kind of went to went to pot. And there you go. Oh, exact same place. Dear. Rear tires locked up. And just to top it all off as well, the game decided it wanted to give me a three second time penalty while I was already in last place. Penalty, which was on. just a uh, final nail in the coffin. Tried to <laughs> continue on, but you could see the car just didn't want any of it. Oh, um, okay. it's, I think our, the rears I think were cooked done, at that point in time. Uh, they didn't want to continue on. They were done. Um, the car was done. Like, you can see here the understeer on this car just kept going. Again, there you go, yeah, rear tires no, locked up, and then just set guys. myself I up think, to a spin. So, um, definitely going to have to look into setups as well. If anyone has any ideas of any done. good setups, uh, please do let I me know. Um, put them in this. the comments below. Uh, pop into the streams I'm, as well if ever you want to give me some uh, live feedback. Feel free to do so. Um, but well. yeah, we kind of th at this I'm point sorry. we were we were done. Um, <laughs> there was no recovering from where we were going. There was no point in continuing on because we weren't going to. Uh, we weren't going to go any further sort of and there was no way we were going to recover from actual, where we were at um, so had to just my, you know just retire the car at that point and this was not good and go back into the pits try to go into the, the pits for the retirement but the game didn't want to continue on like that they just it decided yeah um lewis hamilton what won the race do? at the end uh what with mercedes <laughs> so he's going to try and reclaim back uh, the championship the, um, from 2021 um, the, but yeah, that was uh, the that was the end of the race. We'll wasn't there. really happy. Really wasn't happy. We still uh, oh we didn't have fastest lap. Never mind. Uh, George Russell stole the fastest lap from us. So uh, whatever we did was futile. Didn't really matter, did it? <laughs> so um, that was the end of everything. Uh, wasn't really wasn't really happy with uh, with the race with how the car felt or anything like that. So definitely gonna have to do some homework. Um, gonna look to do another race bef uh, towards the end of this week uh, probably uh, Saturday or Sunday you'll see the next video come out um, I'll, be, I'll be doing the stream on Saturday probably and then I'll probably put the video up on Sunday uh, after I've done the editing and stuff oh, no, um, we've got a, just to top it off as well uh, failure on the R&D side of things hmm. we love that but yeah um, okay. just to obviously so recap on everything definitely I, I need to i need to be looking at my uh, inputs for my pedals and stuff to try and uh limit the the amount that i'm spinning uh to make it feel a little bit better if anyone has any ideas please leave them in the comments as well um just putting in some uh, there we go to, i had to put on some rear time force and some front time force for um baku for the next race as well you'll see as well by the way uh, that i'll probably put an engine power upgrade on as well um and that'll be in time for uh the back of your race but yeah anyways back to, back to if anyone has any ideas of how to make everything smoother make the throttle smoother break the braking smoother um with regards to my inputs on my wheel It'll please do let me know put me in the comments and feel free to put it on the um go on, go, jump yeah, into the, the stream as well um and yeah, uh, we didn't end up doing the Pirelli Hot Lap Challenge. I didn't really want to do the challenge because I, at that point, uh, I wasn't really feeling comfortable with the wheel setup. So I thought I would just leave it 
Um, I don't really want to but, do uh, yeah, um, thank you, anyways, so much for watching. Um, it's been a long stream. It's <laughs> been, a, been a long day. And, yeah, uh, any, again, as I said, any other ideas that you guys have to help me out a little bit more uh, with regards to, you know, the wheel, the setup, and the car setup, please do let me know. It uh, just will be a great help. Um, leave a like on the video as well, and uh, I'll try and put out the I'll put, try and put out the next video on the next stream towards the weekend as well. But yeah, uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, the next round in Jeddah will actually be better. Thank you. Bye bye.